Welcome to Explainer Insight. Today, I'm going to explain the movie called A Good Woman released in the year 2004. The movie starts in a restaurant in which a few rich women are talking bad about a movie's main character. All in because Erlene had an affair with each of the rich woman's husbands. Erlene is in the restaurant because someone is coming to meet her in the restaurant. All in waits for him, but he doesn't come to meet her. All in doesn't have any money. And she's sitting at the table and waiting for the guy. Then a waiter comes towards her and he understands that Erlene doesn't have any money. That's why he doesn't give her the bill from the restaurant and goes without saying anything. That guy doesn't show up and Orlin is about to leave the restaurant. Then some other waiter stops her and asks for the bill payment. She's running short of money and that's why she sells all of her jewelry to get some money to pay the bill. After paying the bill, she leaves the restaurant and decides to leave the city. She then leaves the city and goes to Italy by ship. She travels by sea. While she's on the ship, she's reading a newspaper to pass the time. And as she's reading, she learns about a very rich man. But the problem is that the rich man is already married. But marriage does not matter to Erlene because she already had affairs with many married men in the past, so that's not a matter of concern for her. Then the scene shifts and we see that rich man, Robert and his wife Meg. Robert and Meg were shopping and Robert gets pretty busy. There was also a lady in the shopping center that knew Meg, and she took Meg with her to the glove shop. In the glove shop, there's a man named Dolene. Dolene sees Meg in the shop for the very first time, and after seeing her, he starts to like her. Dolene comes towards Meg and starts flirting with her. He doesn't know that Meg is married. He approaches her and says, I want to buy gloves for my sister and your hands are very beautiful and look just like the hands of my sister. So he asks if he can check the gloves on Meg's hand in order to buy them for his sister. Meg agrees to help Dolene choose the gloves. When Dolene and Meg are checking gloves, Meg's husband, Robert, comes into the glove shop and kisses his wife, Meg, in front of Dolene. The lady who took Meg to the glove shop knows Dolene. She says to Dolene that he shouldn't flirt with Meg. Dolene is such a playboy, and he flirts with every single girl around him. He was a middle-aged person, but he's still not married. That's why he flirts with every girl. According to Dolene, he's still looking for true love. Robert and Meg are new in the city. They've just moved here, and that's why they are going to different places in the city. As they are just wandering about. They see a beautiful palace and Meg likes it very much. Robert, who's a very rich man, buys the palace as a gift for his wife because of receiving the gift from Robert. Meg is very happy. Dolene and Robert start to work together and they become business partners. They end up spending a lot of time together and become very good friends in this city. Gossiping is very common. The people of the city gossip about literally everything. All the rich people there know each other. And one night Meg is alone at a party and Dolene gets an opportunity to talk with her. Dolene goes near her and offers a Meg a drink, but she refuses by saying that no one drinks in her family. Then Meg starts talking about her childhood. She says that when she was too young, her mother left her all alone in this world. After some time of her mother's death, her father also passed away. Then her father's sister took care of Meg. And Meg has only one very old picture of her dead mother. And it's very blurred and not easy to see. Dolene, after seeing the picture of Meg's mother, says, I know your mother is very beautiful. By looking at you, I can guess how beautiful your mother is. And she's very beautiful. Dolene is flirting with Meg, and Meg doesn't like it because she's married to Robert. Dolene says to Meg that she shouldn't worry. He only wants to be friends with her and he doesn't have any bad intentions. The scene shifts and we see that it's almost Meg's birthday, and Robert is in the jewelry shop buying a gift for his lovely wife. In the jewelry shop, Erlene is also present, and she says to Robert, don't ever buy jewelry for your wife. She might think that you're having an affair with someone else. And you've also gifted that other woman jewelry. You should give her something very special as a gift. Lynn suggests a hand fan as a gift for Robert's wife because Erlene likes that hand fan. Robert also likes the hand fan, but the shopkeeper says that he doesn't want to sell it. Robert likes the hand fan so much that he buys it for a very high price and he makes the shopkeeper very happy while going home, Robert gives a lift to her. Lynn and all of that is getting noticed by his friends. They start to think that Robert is having an affair with her. Lynn. Dolene is also present there and Meg is so excited about her birthday gift. 
one day while shopping, she met her Lin and her Lin was trying on a dress. Earl then asks Meg, how is the dress looking on her? To which Meg replies that the dress is a little small. Or Lin replies that men like those kinds of dresses. Meg says, I know my husband is not like other men. Robert doesn't like this sort of stuff. Then the scene shifts and we see that Robert's friends are now keeping an eye on Robert. He starts to go to Evelyn's house without telling his wife. Behind his back, people of the city start to say a lot of bad things about Robert. One day, Dolin comes to Megan, Robert's house, to take them both to dinner. Then suddenly, Robert gets a call from her Lynn and he says to her that you shouldn't call me on my home number. Or Lynn wants to meet Robert as soon as possible. And for that, he can. His plans of dinner with Meg and Dolin because he also wants to meet her Lynn. Robert refuses to go to dinner with Dolin and Meg and says that you both go to dinner. I have some work to do in the office. While talking, Dolin sees some of the checks of Robert's, and on the check are Lynn's name is written, which shows that Robert is giving checks to her. Lynn now, because of these checks, Dolin has confirmed that Robert is having an affair with her. Lynn. The scene shifts and we see her. Lynn is also starting to date another rich person of the city whose name is Tubby. Arlene starts to see Tubby very often these days. One day, Toby's friends start to talk about Robert and her Lynn, to which Tubby says that Robert is just looking at her investments. There's nothing between them. The scene shifts again and we see Dolin is taking Meg out for lunch at the beach. Meg says that she thought they are going to some restaurant. To which Dolin replies that there's very good fresh air. And the lunch you'll get here, you can't find it anywhere else. Robert reaches Merlin's house and Merlin's servants make fun of him because everyone there knows that Robert and or Lynn are having an affair. After some time, Robert tells her, Lynn, that Meg is going out for dinner and I also have to join her. If he gets there late, she'll have doubts about him that he's having an affair with someone else. He then gives her Lynn some money and gets up to leave as he's about to leave. Or Lynn stops him and asks him about how he met his wife and whether he loves her. He replies, he loves his wife so much. She's the true love of his life. We see that Dolene and Meg are going back home and on the way, Meg says to Dolene that they should go to Robert's office to pick him up from work. When they go to Robert's office, she finds out that Robert has lied to her about work. He didn't go to the office that day. Meg returns home from Robert's office, and after some time, Robert also comes back and she asks Robert about where he was today. Meg tells Robert that she went to his office and he wasn't there. To which Robert says that she must have gotten there at the time when he left. Actually, he was lying to his wife. Meg knows that he did not go to his office today, and she understands that he's lying to her. She starts to feel bad after she catches her husband lying to her because she strongly believes her husband very much. And she doesn't expect that Robert would lie to her about anything. In the next scene, everyone is watching the opera. Robert's friends, after seeing Arlen and Tubby talking with each other, start to gossip about them. They are gossiping about what kind of woman Helen is. She has a very strange nature. And because of them talking about her, Lynn, Meg also gets very interested. One lady says to Meg that her husband, Robert, knows her Lynn. But Robert clearly denies that. He says that he only sees her because he's interested in her investments in business. All the people around there are looking at her, Lynn, in such a strange way and ah, Lynn notices this and she doesn't like it. Now Meg also starts to stare at her and because of this she feels very uncomfortable. Orlin then says to Tubby that we should go to some other place. Orlin did this because she wants to leave the place and is feeling very uncomfortable there. Tubby also agrees. Tubby knows that her Lin's past is not so good, but he's ready to accept her. He also has three ex-wives in the past and Tubby and Lin leave the opera place and go to Arlin's house. On the other hand, Meg and Robert also come back to their house from the opera at home. Meg says to Robert that you shouldn't be helping her. Lynn with investments. She's not a good person and we both know how she makes all her money. Robert replies to her by saying that he's only doing his job and his job is to take care of investments. Meg's mood is spoiled because of her. Lynn. Robert notices that Meg's mood is bad, so he gives her the birthday gift he bought to refresh her mood. He gives the hand phone to his wife, and she likes it very much. Her mood is fine again. Then the scene shifts and we see that Lynn and Tubby are at our Lynn's house, and everyone thinks that she and Tubby both understand each other very well. They are having a conversation when Tubby says to her, Lynn, that we should get married. 
To which Lin replies that many marriages don't last for long. After marriage, love starts to decrease slowly. And then you'll feel sick that you're stuck in this marriage with me. Tubby says that you've not met the right person until now. That's why you feel like that. Arlen says that all of the mistakes are mine in those marriages. Toby then gets much closer to her. Lin and he's about to kiss her. Or Lin stops him from kissing and says that she doesn't like the smell of cigarette smoke. Toby promises her that he'll quit cigarettes and he'll never smoke again. After that, Toby starts to get ready to leave Evelyn's house. But before leaving, he tells her that he's very rich and he'll take good care of her. The next day is Meg's birthday party, and at the party, Darlene buys a very expensive gift for her. When he gives Meg the expensive gift, she refuses to take it because it's too expensive. And she can't take it. Because if she does, then people will think that there's something between them. Darlene says that these things don't matter to him. He says that we're very good friends, and if you need any kind of help and support, I'm available to you. I'll always help you and I'll always support you. At Meg's birthday party, Robert's employee is also present. She's at the party because she has some payments due and to pay the money. She enters Robert's office and starts to write a check while writing the check. She notices that Robert has written many checks to Arlene's name, and upon seeing the checks she starts to think that Robert is having an affair with her. Lynn. She gets very upset and starts crying. Then she tells one of her friends all of this and her friend says that her Lynn is the type who can do anything for money. She traps rich men for their money because of her. Lynn. Meg is very upset and her friend notices this and wants to lift up her mood. For this, she takes Meg shopping. Then the scene shifts and we see that Robert and Tubby are playing golf. And Tubby tells Robert that he and her Lynn both understand each other very well. He knows that he also has a relationship with her, and if he wants to get to her, he has to fight with him first. Robert feels that it's very strange how people are judging the relationship of Robert and her Lynn. He directly goes to her Lynn and says that he's ready to give as much money as she wants, and for this she has to leave the city now. Lynn then says to Robert that she wants to talk with Meg, or Lynn tells Robert that she's Meg's mother and she wants to tell her and explain to her why she left. Robert can't believe that she's Meg's mother, and he says that if you tell Meg, then she'll get very disturbed. She thinks so highly of her mother, and she's happy now. There's no need to tell her this now. Or Lynn is blackmailing Robert, and that's why Robert gives her Lynn so much money. Actually, there's nothing like an affair going on between Robert and her Lynn. When Robert and her Lynn are having a conversation, there's a man named Dumpy listening to all of it. He's sleeping there then. Or Lynn goes towards Dumpy and he asks her if she's really Meg's mother, to which she replies, you're dreaming again. Go back to sleep. Outside Meg's birthday party is going on, but inside of the house, Meg is so upset thinking about Robert's affair. Or Lynn has come to the party and she's wearing the same dress as Meg. Robert is trying to take her out of the party, but Meg sees her and she comes towards her. Lynn to meet her. Robert is trying to stop her, but she says that she knows everything about him and her. Lynn. Meg says to Robert today, don't you dare say anything to me at the party while talking, Dumpy says that her, Lynn and Meg look very similar to each other, but no one is taking him seriously. Meg and Arlen are wearing the same dress, so Darlene gets confused by the dress and he goes to her Lynn thinking that she's Meg and he says that today, you look so beautiful. He's trying to give a compliment to Meg, but in confusion, he says it to her. Lynn is very surprised to see her. Lynn and he says that Tubby doesn't have that much money and Robert is much richer than Tubby. You should continue your affair with Robert. Meg is afraid to lose Robert, and if you continue your affair with Robert, then he'll marry you. And then everything will be all right. At the party, Toby's friends are trying to make Tubby understand that he should not continue his relationship with her. Lynn Tubby replies, I'm getting very old and I won't find anyone besides her. Lynn she's very beautiful. His friends say that she's with him only because of his money. Tubby says, well, likewise, she's beautiful, and if she wasn't, then I wouldn't have a relationship with her. He thinks that relations are like business, but still Tubby truly loves her then. Meg gets very disturbed after knowing about Robert and her Lynn, and because of this, she starts to drink. Robert tries to stop her from drinking, but she doesn't listen. Darling sees Meg and he notices that Meg is upset. So he follows her. Meg goes to her room and Darlene also follows her there. Then in the room, Darlene says to Meg that Arlen is so old and you're so beautiful. 
After saying this, he gets close to her and kisses her. Meg gets even more disturbed by Darlene kissing her, and she runs and gets out of the room and comes downstairs. Darlene then goes towards Meg and says that Robert cheated on you with her. Lynn and I really love you very much. Now you should leave him. If you take my side, we can go wherever you like and start our own world. Robert also comes out while searching for Meg, and Meg sees him and hides, taking advantage of the opportunity. Tubby comes toward her, Lynn, and proposes to her for marriage in front of everyone at the party. At first she takes Hubby's proposal as fun, but then she agrees to marry Tubby. Robert gets angry seeing Lynn at the. That's why he gives her a lot of money and asks her to leave as soon as possible. Or Lynn then understands how much Robert loves Meg, and she's now ready to help Robert. She says that she'll go and tell Meg that she's marrying Tubby, and after that, everything will be cleared up. When they are talking, Meg is watching them from outside and she gets even angrier. Seeing Robert again. Talking with her Lynn. Or Lynn is just about to leave from there. And finally she gets the chance to talk with Meg. She goes to Meg's room and the door of her room is open, so. Or Lynn goes into her room. When she enters, she sees a letter there that's written by Meg for Robert. And in the letter it's written that Meg is leaving Robert. Robert is also searching for Meg, and he's outside of her room because Lynn has locked it from inside. Robert thinks that Meg is mad at him and that she's locked the door of her room. Robert says that there's nothing between me and her, Lynn. She's so bad and she's not attractive. She doesn't look nice at all. She's so ugly. After that, Robert leaves, or Lynn goes towards Tubby and she says to him to keep Robert outside of their house for one night. After hearing it, Tubby asks, why should I do that? To which Erlene replies that if you want to marry me, then there's many questions that you have to never ask. There are some questions that I also don't know the answers to. Tubby then agrees with her. Actually, Meg is now on Darlene's boat and she's decided to run away with Darlene. But before she leaves her, Lynn comes to the boat and she meets Meg and says that you should go back to your husband, Robert. There's nothing between me and him. They are just rumors, and there's nothing like that. Or Lynn now wants to help Robert. So she lies to Robert's wife, that she's his relative. That's why he's given her money. There's nothing like an affair between them. She tells Meg that her husband loves her so much, and if she leaves him like that, then their life will get destroyed. And she'll regret this her whole life. People will always talk badly about you and they make you feel uncomfortable. You'll not regret this now, but after 20 or 30 years, you'll feel guilty. You shouldn't leave him like that. Meg understands that she is doing wrong. Suddenly, Robert, Darlene and Tubby arrive because Erlene has asked Tubby to get Robert out of the house for one night. They come into Darlene's boat in her linen bag, hide from them, and they start talking about her. Lynn. They are trying to make Tubby understand that Lynn is not right for him and he should not marry her. To which Tubby replies by saying that he loves her Lynn. And that's why he's marrying her and he's not going to change his mind. Then one of them finds the hand fan that Robert has given to Meg. Robert recognizes it and wonders how it got there, and if he gets to know that Meg is also on the boat, then his marriage will also be ruined to save the marriage of Robert and Meg are. Lynn, come upstairs to Darlene's boat. The boat is owned by Darlene, so Tubby thinks that if her Lynn is here, that means that there's something between Darlene and our Lynn. He starts to think that Lynn has had an affair with Darlene, and he leaves the boat in anger. The next day, in the morning, when Robert comes back to his house, he enters this house and he sees that Meg is also present. Meg realizes that Robert isn't having an affair with her Lynn and she forgives Robert and they start to have a conversation. Robert tells Meg that because of last night, Toby's broken up with her. Lynn and now he's not going to marry her anymore. She feels very bad for her, Lynn, because last night she'd come to help her to save her marriage with Robert. That's why she came to the boat, to make her understand. And there's nothing like an affair between them. Today was the last time our Lynn came to Meg's house to meet her. She's now again, about to leave the city. Robert talks with her, Lynn, and says that if Meg is your real daughter and if you truly loved her, then you should have never left her. Or Lynn says that I was in a very bad situation after my marriage and I didn't have any options left. Robert asks Lynn to leave, and when Lynn is about to leave, Meg sees her and comes towards her. She apologizes because it was her that caused Tubby to break up with her. And now he's not marrying you. She will tell Robert about everything that happened last night. But Lynn stops her from doing that. 
She'll tell him the reality or. Lin replies that reality is that you love Robert and he also loves you. Or Lin asks Meg to promise her that she will not tell Robert anything. Meg replies by saying that I'm taking my mother's promise and my mother is my guardian angel. She's dead despite the fact that she's taking care of me. Lin is very happy to hear this, and she's about to leave the house and the city. Then Robert stops her and says, why don't you tell Meg that you're her mother? Or Lin replies that Meg thinks that her mother is a very good person, and if I tell her that I'm her mother, then her faith and her mother is destroyed and her happiness will be ruined. I don't want to destroy that faith and happiness while leaving or Lin returns all of the money that Robert has given her. Now everything gets better in Meg and Robert's life when her Lin sits in the airplane. Tubby is present and he's waiting for her. Lin. Then he tells her, Lin, that Meg has told me everything about last night. And she asks him, what did Meg say to you? Tubby tells her everything that Meg told him, but it's not the true story. Instead, it's a lie, which means that Meg has lied to Tubby in order to save her. Lin in both of their marriages now, Tubby and her Lin fly from. They are to another city and start a new life together. That was all from the video. I hope you liked it. Subscribe for more content like this and hit the like button to help us out. Also, leave a comment if you want us to explain your favorite movie. Until next time, take care.